Villarreal and Real Madrid battled to a 4-4 draw, one of the games of the weekend. And Gab, you know what I'm going to ask you. And it's not about La Liga champions. It's not even, even about the Villarreal team. It's just about one guy in particular. It is about the man who queued the comeback from 4-1 down. Yes, the only living Sorloth in captivity. Look, I, I go I mean, back to this. He's freed now. He's been freed, yeah. I, he's running rampant <laughs> in, seriously, in Europe's Incredible big five leagues. There are only two players who have scored more goals from open play than Alexander Sorlot. They are Harry Kane yeah. and Serhu Girassi. He has scored more goals from open play than that other tall Norwegian guy right. who just won the title in the Premier League. Uh, I find this incredible. He scored four goals in this. I said they came back from 4-1 down. Okay, Real Madrid, Arda Guler, and like they're trying things out, whatever, not really into it. But still, this is unbelievable. This is this completely unbelievable. And honestly, if you're the manager of Norway, you have some explaining to do. Sorloth, Holland, Udegaard, you got I mean, some explaining to do. Have. And I, I looked this up because Villarreal had had a fascinating season where they changed managers, I think, three times. Yeah. They They're would finish in the table. Yeah, or ninth. Uh, but they have the top goal scorer at the moment in Sorloth and the best in assist in Alex Baena. So somehow, two of the best players this season in terms of dishing great assist creativity <laughs> and scoring them, there is theirs, and yet. It's still a, a very average season. 23 goals for a mid-table side yeah. without taking penalties and free kicks is just out of this world. It is incredible. Barcelona beat Rayo Vallecano 3-0 as Pedri backs two goals and Joao Felix delivers some filth. Gab, we still don't know though if Xavi will be on the bench next season. I'll get to Xavi in a minute, but by the way, the highlight, the Joao Felix, oh. what he does in the build-up to Pedri's goals, the kind of thing where you see it, you fall in love and you say, can be so good. sign it him up for 20 bad, years and then you realize... Hey, he doesn't but do this all the time. maybe he could do this all the yeah, time. Yeah, okay, it's fine. But maybe he could. Take a big pay cut and then we'll talk, Joao. Uh, Lewandowski scoring as well. Yeah. By the way, fun fact, since I mentioned it, um, the only strikers who've scored 20, or goal, 20 goals or more for the last three seasons are Erling Haaland in the league, in the big five yeah. leagues. Erling Haaland, Harry Kane, Kylian Mbappe. And Lewandowski. And no, Lautaro Martinez. Wow. Lewandowski is short. short. What? He's short this season. He's 18 goals. 18 yeah. goals in the He's league. got another game. He's got another game. I know. He's got another game. Got to keep your streak going. Xavi. As for Xavi, look, I don't understand it. So he came out and he said what he said. And he said, I'm going to leave whatever happens at the end of the season. My family, it's not fun, blah, blah, blah. And then they go on this run. And they're like, no, Xavi, please stay. Please stay. He says he's going to stay. And now there's a question mark again. Reportedly, he asked for a meeting with Laporta. Yeah. Laporta said, oh, yeah, we'll talk before the last game of the season. I think it's against Seville. I, this is not the way to treat Xavi mm. after what you've put him through. Um, for me, for his own mental health, for his family, for all the reasons that he gave us when he left, he should walk away. He should not be put through this. Yeah, he shouldn't be humiliated like this yeah, uh, at this so stage. Um, seriously, I mean, think about who you work for. I don't know when the elections are, probably not for a long time. I don't yeah. know if it's old stuff that Chavi, of course, backed a different candidate back in the day. But man, this is not, it's not this is not, not how you treat for the club Chavi. as well. Yeah. Not a good look. So much for the mystique of the Civitas Metropolitano Stadium. Atletico Madrid lose at home to Sasuna 4-1 to end La Liga in fourth place. Gab is the first time in the Diego Simone era that they are not in the top three. Is it change, change is coming or one of those seasons? Change is coming. Uh, Diego Simeone is going to stay. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think a lot of these players are going to be out. What we saw from that defensive line, that defending against the Nosasuna team, who, by the way, were really badly on the slide at the end yeah. of the season, uh, was just pretty terrible. Um, obviously, they have to sort out the Griezmann situation. Um, they have to ask themselves, hey, why did Morata stop scoring? Yeah. They need help at the back. Um, and I think Chalo needs to look at himself, too, because but this is the thing about La Liga, right? If you're Atleti, you can get into a comfort zone because nobody expects you to finish higher than Real Madrid and Barcelona. And if you do, you're a genius. Mm -hmm. Equally, the gap in resources and so much else between you and number four is absolutely enormous. So you have to really, really suck to finish fourth. Yeah. Um, which is a pretty unique situation yeah, yeah, yeah. in European football. Um, so I think he needs, this team needs, they need a big, big kick in the, in, in the backside. Girona win away at Valencia 3-1 as Savio steals the show gap. What a season for him. 
tremendous season. I don't like the fact that they started calling him Savino. Yeah. Um, it just seems completely unnecessary. Maybe they want to differentiate himself from the other Savio who played what like 10, 15 years ago. Um, it's been a it's been an incredible year. Uh, they were three 0 up. They ran rampant and gave away a late penalty. Again, City Football Group. Does this take the gloss off? Not for me because yeah. their budget this season still twelfth, thirteenth in La Liga. It's been it's been phenomenal. I wonder if this team gets gets broken up between the on loan players. Between um, even a guy like Miguel Gutierrez, who I think was a phenomenal second part of the season, yeah. I didn't realize that somebody told me Real Madrid still have a buyback clause. Yeah, they course. can bring him back, which might not be a bad idea. Incidentally, if uh, you know, if you and decide Mendy, yeah, Mendy is not up to it, and no, but if you want an attacking alternative to Mendy, right? Um, yeah. So I don't know. I, I just think it's been it's been phenomenal, yeah. and I'm going to stop calling him off-brand Mitchell. He's not the real Mitchell, obviously, nope. but. He is it's his own amazing. type of Mitchell. Yeah. Jules, we're romantics. Uh, so we yeah. were fully behind Isco when he joined Betis last summer. Yeah. I was behind him when he joined Seville, but then he was terrible there. Yeah. <laughs> um, he had a tremendous season, he eight had. goals. But there's heartbreak, as injury means his last hopes of making the Euro squad are dashed. Yeah, we saw him coming out of the clinic on his crutches. He's getting married this summer. So at least he's got that to look forward to and to get excited with. There won't be a Euros and you would think that was the last chance really for him to go to another big tournament because in two years' time in the US, I don't I think that's a bit too far ahead for him. So really. Do you really think upset. he would have been called up? Yeah, maybe. He hadn't been played for the national team since twenty nineteen. It's a long time. But then maybe there were other reasons. I don't know. Twenty six man squad, you call up Isco just to make Gabriel. Yeah, just happy. just for the be the beauty of the player. Mm -hmm.